I am Megan Block, and I'm Abby's sister, and it's really a great pleasure to welcome you here this evening. So we're gathered here on this beautiful setting to celebrate something that has long been apparent, and that is the love between Abby and Carter. <laughs> Whittemore House Nursery School, it may be familiar to some of you, but that is the place where Abby and Carter, if you don't know, first met. So yes, 30 years ago, Abby and Carter's lives crossed paths. 20 years ago, Abby and Carter attended their first semi-formal together. And 12 years ago, Abby and Carter began dating. So today, it is, it's an honor to be with Abby and Carter as they bring their relationship to yet the next level, culminating in what will be one of the most important days of their lives. So it's such a privilege to be here. So when you walked in, you chose a shelf you provided an intention for Abby and Carter and their life together, and you placed that shell in the circle in which Abby and Carter now stand. So Abby and Carter, before you met, your lives were on different paths with different destinations, but love brought you together and joined those paths as one. So this circle, just like the rings you'll place on one another's fingers this evening, symbolizes in its simplest form forever. When a commitment this strong is made between two people, the power of that commitment, of that love and of that courage, it reaches out to all of us and changes us so that we become part of their love. So understanding the power of the shell circle and the significance, I invite Abby's parents, Marianne and Ed Davidson, and Carter's parents, Debbie and Peter Knight, to provide their intentions and lay the final shells on the shell circle. I'll ask Shay Vercoloni, Abby's cousin, to come up and she'll provide us with the first reading, a poem by Bob Marley. 